So, folks, why are there calls for Nebraska Senator Steve Halloran to resign? Well, let me give you a little bit of background into who this guy is before we go into why the the state legislature of Nebraska had to convene early yesterday based on what this man said, the, you know, outlandish things that he just said. So let's just rewind a little bit. Let me take you back to this. So this story is coming from Jezebel, April 27th, 2023. There he is. And it says, ahead of a Thursday vote on a bill to ban abortion at roughly six weeks, which ultimately failed, Nebraska State Senator Steve Halloran mused aloud, we've been in a state in our country where for 50 years abortion has become normal, and phrases such as forcing women to be pregnant are used. He said, no one's forcing anyone to be pregnant. Pregnancy is a voluntary act between two consenting adults. So let me show you what he said here, folks. Have a look at this. After period of time things become normal and we've been in a state where in our country where for 50 years abortion has become normal and um, phrases such as uh, forcing women to be pregnant are used no one's forcing anyone that's to rape. Be pregnant Pregnant's a voluntary act between two consenting adults. We won't go into details. We're all adults here, and there may be some children here. But it's no one's forcing anyone to become pregnant. How ignorant. I mean, that, that's exactly what rape is. Rape is when someone is forced to have sex, folks. And, um, and it leads to an unwanted pregnancy like this. Uh, in a lot of cases, because people are shamed and, you know, they, they don't get the help that they deserve because of people like this, basically. So how ignorant can you can you get, you know, and, and how do these people keep getting elected? Uh, this man's running into term limits. So he's been out there for a hell of a long time. Um, you know, and it's incredibly sad that somebody like this just keeps getting elected. Well, as I mentioned, there's calls for the Senator Steve Halloran to resign following explicit language that he went and did last night at uh, the Nebraska State Capitol. You'll find this really interesting. Toward the end of the debate, they're talking about uh, a prosecution exemption for schools that provide obscene materials to students in kindergarten through 12th grades. And towards the end of that debate, Halloran read from an excerpt of Lucky by Alice Siebold in which uh, he said could be found in at least 16 school libraries in Nebraska and was assigned reading for some accelerated reading classes. So what he did was this. When reading the passages, which lasted about 83 seconds, he inserted Senator Michaela Kavanaugh's name, who was obviously like feet away from him, into the text several times. So he's talking about someone who's getting raped in reading this book and inserts her name. And, you know, there's other people there that have gone through all sorts of abuse like that, uh, domestic abuse or, you know, rape. I mean, there's other, there are people there that, that might be sensitive to to what he said, let alone the whole nation at large. So have a look at, uh, listen to what he said, folks, have a listen to this. It's pretty sickening. Lawmakers adjourned early tonight. It comes after one lawmaker used pornographic language on the Senate floor during a debate over an obscenity bill. KTV News Watch 7's Bill Shammers on the live desk with this. Bill. Rob Julie, Senator Steve Halloran from Central Nebraska read an excerpt from Lucky by Alice Siebold. He says he wanted to show an example of books that can be found in some school libraries. But while reading that excerpt, he inserted the name of Senator Kavanaugh. The book is about a young woman who was raped. Listen to this. He kicked me and I crawled into a ball. I want to Senator Kavanaugh. Colleagues. She shouldn't have to deal with this. Was beyond the pale. That was harassing. Yeah, this the was de- during which is an obscenity bill. It made it out of committee and it was. Yeah, the, the whole matter of him resigning should not be up for debate. The man should be gone. I mean, this is so. And again, coming from someone who's a Christian, right? And again, not all Christians are like that, but here's one that is. 
Folks, this is the kind of thing that uh, you have to deal with. And, and how in the hell did this man keep getting reelected by the people of Nebraska? It's really a black eye on Nebraska, if you, if you ask me. It's People like this have got to go. He should, be, he should have been gone yesterday.